This episode of Speakers of Fidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. A special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Circuit Barakil, Remy Asalia, Saray Cypher, Omeji Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Nina Grimstarter, Casey Schaefer, Daimos, Sirifal Alirifu, Lily Black, Hans Grenade, Sapa Chakwatol, Asuta Starbreeze, Faris Gentoru, Cletus Oreo, Quick Levin, Sayori Snowfall, Luke Leonatrell, Stella Bell, Cirrus, Icy Lee, Lyria Rain, Pamela Isley, Umbral Wind, Naive Arino, Celeste Rath, Chris, Elenriel Maximus, Edwin, Bob Cece, Celestia, Fabs and Voidworm, Yuling Jung, Raimi Maverick, and Code Red No. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. This is Speakers of Violence. Good evening, AORC, and welcome to Speakers of Violin episode 185. I'm Lakeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Georgi Wiston. I'm Mayla Vanadar. Where is Hi. Rollo isn't here. Rollo's, unfortunately, don't s- has you are, not been here. Don't get to say that. Uh, Rollo's feeling a bit what? under the weather. <laughs> Uh, so he's uh, not here uh, today. Um, hopefully he'll be here next week. Uh, mm-hmm. Welcome everyone. Uh, episode one hundred and eighty-five. Hopefully he'll be here tomorrow. Oh God, yeah, there's so. that. <laughs> oh well, we'll figure that out. Um, in this episode, uh, we're gonna have a great discussion because it's been a very quiet week. We will be discussing where we'll be going next in the next story patch. Um, we'll talk about Little Lady Stay twenty twenty, and we'll review it. And we will, of course, read Mogmail. Remember, send us Mogmail, speakersxiv.com slash Mogmail. Stay tuned for the post-show. We will be doing questions from the Syndicate, and we will premiere Never the Twain Shall Meet and discuss the lore implications of said uh, story, because this is... Well, well, you'll see. You'll see when we get to th- to this part of the show. Uh, so stay tuned for the post-show. Um, so what have we done in 14 this week, Georgi? Okay. Um, well, I finished the Katari Beast Tribe quest. Mm-hmm. Um, uh-huh. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the mount. Mm. These two don't seem to like it as much. They seem to think it's too loud and bright. Yeah. it's. A, I just don't like the sound it makes when I you like move. I like the design of it f- for myself, but I just think it was a mistake giving players the ability to take over your entire screen. Mm. Yeah. I like that it... I like that it's makes your eyes glow at the same time as its eyes. Yeah, glow. that's cool. But I think it's going to get old very fast. That, like, um, people spamming that everywhere. Uh, besides that, I've done some term grinding, and we have collectively done a little bit of Ruby Weapon mm. Extreme, oh. though we have yet to get past the first phase. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, to be fair, we've only done it like twice now. We that's true. Yeah. Um, right, uh, Mela. Um, well, I've obviously had an incredibly stressful week uh, coming up with questions for Gillian there, so mm-hmm. I've not done that much. Just a bit, little bit of tombstone grinding, but that only started yesterday. Um, right. So. Not really anything worth mentioning, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not finished, Katari. I must have missed a day or two mm. along the way, so I'll I'll have finished that by next week. And it would have had to be at least two, because I know I missed one day, but ah. I was able. To okay. Get, yeah. Well, not get to the like very top level, but get through the story part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I look forward to finishing that. Yeah. I haven't really done much either. I've just done. I haven't really done expert either. I did one expert more than Mela this week uh, before the mm. stream yesterday, and that's about it. Uh, the only expert I've done this week was on stream. I have not. I don't think I've done any on my main rights so far. So <laughs> oh, I need God. to do that today. Uh oh. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I need to panic farm today. Oh, I have to do that today as well. God, it's Saturday already. Mm -hmm. um, right. Um, let's just move on to recent events. Not much happening uh, in our 14 lives, clearly. <laughs> so let's see if something's happened. Um, where's this segue going? I don't know. Recent events. Uh, Little Lady's Day 2020. It happened. Uh, have you all done it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <sighs> what do you think? What do you think about this year? So spoilers, I guess. If you can even put up a spoiler alert for this event. It's, it's like a... It's like a minute quest. quest. Yeah. We're to doing 20 a nice minutes, thing. it's like 10. All right. You yeah, I'd say it's close to 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Um, when it has follow-up content. It does. It does have follow-up content. That's I haven't true. done all the follow-up content oh, yet. I did but... them all in a row. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll probably get around to doing them all, but I did one of them. Yeah. Um, it's a cute little story about uh, the orphanage, someone who can't walk out, be outside. Mm. Um, so we we bring the outside to the orphanage. Is it an orphanage or is it just a place for sick children? I guess it's, it's a little bit of both. It's a little I bit guess. of. I thought it was an orphanage, like when we. It's like it I is, think it's. Everything. I thought it was an orphanage too, but the way they it's made it this hospital. time, it was just like a children's ward. But when we did Starlight, we did it. That was like clearly for the orphans, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. and if you check the map, oh, let me find that picture because I think the map references what it's called. Because mm. like it's obviously like Frondale's front history, but like the map gives it a more specific location but you vamp while i find the picture <laughs> mm, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, i it... mean i think i've got a bit of a soft spot for the orphanage quests like that star mm. so i i thought it's quite heartwarming yeah it was cute. it's really cute with i liked the follow-up quests maybe a bit more mm. than the main one because it was nice to see everyone meet their heroes and what they say mm -hmm. um like you can bring a dragon gay along <laughs> yeah you mm. actually bring a dragon into the city yeah um, that's fine we know dragons aren't bad anymore right i wonder how that works i guess it the options you have are based on where you are in the game mm. but i can't confirm that okay um, i believe some are not available to you if you haven't done certain storylines yeah mm. Um, yes. So if if you look into if you check check the map while you're in there, it refers to this area as the Frondale's home for friendless foundlings. Oh. So it is an or orphanage. I guess it's both. Yeah. yeah. It's very confusing. Um, but yeah, um, it's definitely for sick children as well because they are. Mm. Ill. Yeah. Um. It had that woman from the Thorn Dynasty again. Yeah. yeah. Yes. She's quite and cool, I, I guess. She was. Not sick this time, which mm. was nice. No, no. Um, no, she did choose to be around sick children, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's very clever laughs> of her. True. Um, the kid from the Christmas event, which was apparently a kid from one point oh, um, oh, he yeah. was there. Though he's not involved in the main. He's not involved in like the achievement quest you need to do, but he's there. He's involved in all the repeatable quests. Right. Yeah. yeah okay. And he, he mentions that he's seen you before. If mm -hmm. you've, I guess if you've done the Starlight mm. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice. Yeah. And also, for, chat who's ask, what? for chat who's asking, I think the dragonling is triggered by doing, I want to say the Mughal base tribe quests, but I might. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. I yeah, believe it was sense. one of those dragonettes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we also but, yeah. excuse me, Dragon A. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, French Mela. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Also, Redland Rose is that was really cute because yeah. when she, but the 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 girl who it was for, I can't remember her name. It began with an I or something. Um, mm. wasn't as like blown away as I wanted no. it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be her idol. Yeah. Yeah. And it's red and rose. Very polite, he was though. so sweet to, yeah. to them. He's, it was really, it was mm. just nice. It was yeah. a nice quest. Yeah. Um, so it, for the gladiators guild leader, she's she's pretty pretty harsh to them. Mm. And the the songbirds are horrible. Don't why don't invite they do? them along. Are They're they... like the stupid Lalafell's like, who wants an autograph? Who wants my autograph? And they're like, no, you come on. They're sick children. And then the <laughs> one's like, I want to be a songstress now. 
it's really hard. <laughs> it's so much effort. You got to put in loads of work. She's like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, no, <laughs> it's a sick child. Let's let's be nice. <laughs> uh, the fell is is evil. Mm, mm. Mm. Um, the rewards. Uh, how do you feel about that? I like the fact that you the could corsage purchase. Corsage is them. really nice. I like that you could purchase the items just but with gill. There's no mm. like. Yes, I like that. You don't too. have to farm yeah, no... tokens for them. But you do get the little magic prisms if you do the quests. Yeah, you do. I mean, um, you can buy those with gill as well. It's not that. Oh yeah. Bad. yeah. Oh yeah. And you get like a um, stupid um, like amount, don't you? You get like five or three. They ten, always you get ten, ten, eight, ten of each. Oh, yeah, for the quest. And that's I'd, pretty good. To be honest, I'd rather question not give anything <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, it just floods up my inventory. And yeah. cherry and peach confetti are two of the ugliest fireworks in the game. <laughs> it's yeah. the most generic one too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Um, the the course the the corsage is really Corsages nice. Are nice. Um, it dies quite well. Mm. Yes, and I like that both things aren't gender locked. Yes. True. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not like they have to model them significantly differently between the genders, unlike no. something that was maybe a body piece. Right. Yeah. 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 I think they're pretty decent. The stage and the mm. wall hanging, not so impressive, but fine, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice to have another stage if you miss yeah. out on the opportunity to get one a free one before. And it's probably nicer than the other stage. Yeah. 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 More interesting looking. Yeah. So maybe um, that Aeorzean drama group can upgrade their stage mm -hmm. for their next performances. Oh, you're if thinking... they're still going, I hope oh, they are. right. Okay. Their, name their name escapes but... my brain. It's like at a stage reborn. A stage reborn. A stage reborn, that's it, yeah. Um, right. Uh, well, they would probably want a neutral-looking <laughs> stage, though, which you can already get in game, mm. the troop well, it stage. it depends That's on the true. performance, I guess. Yeah, but you can die them. That's true. The, the troop stages, too. Anyways, uh, if you missed the Little Lady Stay last year, you can, now buy, you can now buy the items from that on the Mog Station. They can mm -hmm. now be worn... Was this? Am I remembering this correctly? Can they be worn by Rothgar and Viera? Yes, yes, they can, yeah. Um, I showed a picture of that. It's yeah. that flower crown. Mm -hmm. and then Which, for some items. reason, was different between the genders. It was very strange. Remember that? It is very strange. Oh, yeah, it has like a <laughs> daisy on the men. Yeah, something. yeah. I think there was the some... Rothgar looks Was very there cute. some lore tied to that, though? I do like the picture of the Rothgar. Uh, no, there was no... There's no lore explanation for why it looks different between the two Oh, genders. I thought there was a reason why it had, like, male one had daisies and, the like, the female one had something I else. don't believe so. Okay. Um, but well, there you go. You can buy that on the mug station. I'm not going to list the prices. You know what the prices are for seasonal items. It's like two dollars ninety nine or two fifty. Two food. There was, yeah, there was. I was going to say. I think there's also two food items that you can buy. Yeah, if you want some food for real money that you can't eat, please mm. just don't buy the food. Don't buy. <laughs> I mean, just don't buy don't... the fucking like. Do you remember when they put the curry on the? It looks like <laughs> someone shat. In like a, it doesn't look good. Why would you ever buy that? I can understand why people buy them not to eat them, like but to use them as, it's like a they're shame. just as as like housing items. I can yeah. understand them, not as There's if you're use, if you're buying them and using them for their like food effects. Oh, you need no. to figure out your priorities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there are so many other food items. I just don't understand why you would buy like. At le I'm just specifically thinking about. This curry plate because it is the most horrendous looking food item we have. I like the curry because no. that's what it looks like in real life. Yeah, well, it, I guess so. Curry I mean, never if looks. You're going for, it allows you in certain types of houses. I can see how it would fit. Like if you're going for something that's supposed to feel like a comfy, like real Japanese home, especially if you've got like an only an apartment. Yeah, I can sort of understand it more. I wouldn't buy it. I'm not saying I would buy it, but I can understand why some people might. I, I don't understand, and I, I I mean, you do you, I guess. Buy what you want. Um, next, uh, the 5.2 website is updated. Um, there really isn't much to talk about here, but uh, because they haven't... The only thing they've uh, updated, really, is the um, uh, Ishgard rest restoration part. Yeah. Um, they have put. Um, can I show that on stream? Is there any point in showing it on stream? They've there's um, um, right. They updated Eden's verse with one new render of uh, 
Shiva. Shiva Rain. Yeah, Shiva Rain. Um, mm. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Mayla thinks her blades are unnecessarily long. <laughs> Look how big they are. They are a little excessive. But... She won't be able to hold them, not with those tiny arms. That's true. I don't think her feet are also that big, by the way. Mm. I think Rain's feet are smaller than the these high yeah. heels imply. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're, maybe feet, they're foam they swords. They're very long. Maybe they're foam swords. Like, so compare they're them to heavy. the size of her hands. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Maybe they're foam legs. Yeah, she's just made of foam. She's made of foam. <laughs> um, next, the Ishgardian Restoration. I guess this is the only new picture, really, here. Yeah. Yay, the sheep, which <clears> I had <throat> forgotten about, and I showed a lot of other people's. Yeah. yeah. So the so sheep. Apparently, the Yogi says the crown is. Well, the crown is new? new. Well, it's not new. They've shown it before. The lady, but behind, I mean, new... the lady behind the counter of the scratch card thing. Is wearing it. Yeah, so she I think wears one a, as well. I think it's but a, a we reward can have for it. that. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. And the outfit's nice, I guess. I quite yeah. like the outfit. Well, Probably of course, it's like put in a lala fell, so it's hard to actually see what's yeah. happening. I like fancy outfits in this game. Yeah. 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 They're usually cooler. Yeah. But the sheep. I wonder, I wonder if you get a massive sheep if you're a Rothgar. Oh. Or, or if it's like that, uh, the mana gar mount where it doesn't change size. There's like a Rogan in on it. Sounds, Baby la little lamb. Sounds sad. Uh, that's that's. Those are the updates uh, on the that's website. It. Yeah. Apparently Still no update on when we're getting the parasols. Is, um, no, we're supposed week? to get that. I think they've confirmed. They confirmed that apparently during the uh, art thing oh, when we, we were covered. probably <laughs> lose. We were probably losing our mind at that time. <laughs> that it will be during five point two one. Very strange because they haven't added the patch date on or patch number on the website. Not for, for the parasol, parasol section. No, there's a parasol no, section, but it says nothing about that. That's Very just means strange. They can change their mind. Yeah, they just don't want to. Mm. Mm, okay. It's uh, point two. Okay, point two one is apparently on Tuesday. Yes, point two one is next Tuesday. Yeah. I thought you were asking about two point two five. No, two five though. Yeah, that's a while away. That's fine. Um, we're very I'm updated. Not... We're up to date here on the Speakers of Island podcast. Um, mm. Next, uh, we, we speaking of the artwork panel, we watched it. Uh, we covered it to a certain extent. We covered the main part of it. Yes. Did um, you look, go through the Q&A as well? We did, sort of. Mm. We were there. We were there. We were present. We were present mentally. I mean, give, given a... Mm. No comment. But we were there. Um, mm. they, um, they revealed that we're getting new dyes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's actually very exciting. Yeah, was one of the colors? Have have we? They're very vibrant. There uh, was a Reddit post with an image. Yeah, was it like metallic mm. black and metallic white? Am I remembering yeah. this correctly? Yeah, and then um, like a new gold, I think, and yeah. then some very vibrant, like normal colors. Mm -hmm. There's some new pink as well, which is worn by that woman that Mela thinks little of down on the oh yeah, Limson docks. Lim Limson docks. <laughs> Okay. She wears she mm. wears one of the new pinks. I see. I That's see. Congo Congo's posted. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. They're really vibrant colors, so I'm I'm quite a fan of them. I'd like to see how these work on, say, uh, like a tanking set or something, or not mm. the maid set, <laughs> mm. basically. Yeah. Yeah, these are nice. I like the new blues. I like the, I like that this looks like we're finally getting another good red. Yeah. And Usable that red. that like greeny yellowy one on the left there that's yeah. quite nice yeah they're very nice mm. looking. very subtle that one but and the new gold the metallic gold i like that as well because it's a bit more like golden subtle. rather than yellow yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nice yeah they're, they're really very nice. really good colors i hope they're yes. majority there is... mm. yes chat's why we don't really get any new greens no. i guess you could argue this one, the one that Mayla was talking about earlier, is a green. But we've got green is probably one of the better represented colors in the game in terms of variety. Yeah, yeah there's not many green pinks. And, green and blue, I think, are the two colors that yes. you have the yes. best choices of. Mm -hmm. And we're getting two more blues. Yeah, not many um, pinks at all. No. no, and there's not many good. There's not really many reds either. No, there's two no. good, two maybe three good reds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's cool. We're getting um, new dice, which I, th I thought we never would. Because I feel like they've talked about before that it was difficult to add new dice. I feel mm. like that's a lie. Uh, it probably was. 
I but, don't know if it needs to be done because it needs to be able to work with every piece of gear in the game. Remember, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But to obviously, then one mm. must be easy. Mm. <laughs> to just choose a new color and like let the engine do the work. Well, yeah, you're talking about spaghetti engine here. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. It might have actually been quite difficult to do this. Um, which is, I mean, we haven't got the last time we got new dice was in like two point, like a two point X. That dark patch. red. I remember it. it yeah, was it was like a 2.8 patch. Was it was it? like 2.3? Yeah. 2.2? Yeah. You covered it on a Fallen Rise oh, recently. I, did. I don't remember. Yeah. What was the most recent Fallen Rise? Or was it on the most recent Fallen Rise? Was no, it before I think, the most I think recent? it's older. I think it's the one before episode 9. So it's it was a Mog Station one as well, wasn't it? The most recent one. Oh, the metallic ones? No, there was like a dark brown or something. Thing. Oh, yeah. That they added. I think that was a... Oh, yeah, they added the... The pastels and they added the dark that's true colors that was dark the last time green. was that uh realm reborn or was that heaven's no Word? it was heaven's what i think i can't remember it's been it's been a while um anyways we're getting new jaws jo yeah. <laughs> now we're also getting two what's happening <laughs> two, 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 two two new paintings, two new paintings. Uh, we're getting a painting of emmerich and Estinian. Hey. finally which means like they're gonna it. die. What? Mm. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think the Emmerich one just makes sense just because we have heaps of city state later ones already. Yeah. The Sydney one confuses me. Yeah. Maybe it does mean he'll die. <laughs> Maybe it's, like... just, it's just canonically like fan art. We've drawn fan art of Astinian. We just no, it's been commissioned by. Yeah, we've commissioned fan art. Yeah. Not personally, it's for the realm. Why would the realm <laughs> care about Astinian? They hardly know him. He's the Azure Dragoon. I assume he's somewhat important. In Ishgard, at least. Yeah, in Ishgard. But... Well, seemingly no one saw his face up until very recently. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's how cool he is. Mm. He's not going to die. We have pictures of all the city-state leaders and all that's this. That's true. We also have a death. painting of Sid, actually, and he's not dead yet. Yeah, and we've got dead yet. Ida. With... Well, Ida's dead. Ida's with, dead. With... Yeah, well, it was technically Lise in the picture. You don't know that. It could actually be when it was Ida in public. <laughs> this might have been pre-1.0. Because remember, Lise looks exactly like Ida. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. She stole her look. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm still waiting for when we get, like, someone on the, I think the subreddit mentioned, when are we getting, like, a version of Hien in the style of those old Japanese, like, woodblock prints? Oh, mm. that would be nice. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, Did we get one for Garibania? For Alam Alamiga? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like mm. who is who is the city state leader of Alamiga? Maybe a new one of Rauban then mm. as a Rauban. Yeah, as by himself because he doesn't have one oh, by himself. Fuck, we're gonna get one of Lees, aren't we? Yeah. We already have a picture of Lees. I mean, we already have a picture of Rauban, but I don't want a solo Lees. <laughs> We're going to get solo a solo Lee. lease, aren't we? We're like, well, we can put it in the house and then cover it The glory it up. of Alamigo behind her that she liberated. Oh, the mm. mighty leader of Alamigo. It could be Lee standing on a like mountain of guardian corpses. <laughs> with, like, in her hand. Yeah, and then there's like a tiny Raubon in the background. I guess he's yeah. important too. And then, so he's in yeah. there. <laughs> um, and our hand or something. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, anyways. Uh, they're they're nice. They look nice. They, they look, look like they look very Renaissance nice. paintings. Mm, Renaissance. Mm. Um, yeah. The, when Did we know the dates? Is this all coming out in five point... I'd guess Ishgard Restoration for the paintings, two, probably. One. I think we're getting all of... The, I think they said all of them are coming out for 5.21, but mm. I could be mistaken. Okay. I would be okay. not at all surprised if the paintings are available with um, Skybuilder Sky scripts. Mm. Yeah. Yes. That makes sense. Makes sense. They're adding a heck of a lot of rewards to Skybuilder scripts. Yeah. We might mm. as well just chuck everything. Well, remember, we're getting diadems, so it's they have to. I like, can't give us... wait mm. for that because it means you'll be able to get them easier. Yes, that's what I want as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. Because with crafting, there's two steps. You have to find the. You have to get the. You have to get the mats, and then yeah. new mats, and you have to get loads of them. And then you have to yes. spend ages macroing them all, and it takes years and years. Yeah. Mm. And then I, you get like seven scripts uh, for them. Oh, I am you. assuming. It's not that little unless you're, you're doing it. Exaggerating, Mela. <laughs> the, the, uh, I'm assuming they, they've lowered 
I mean, they're not going to make diadem so superior to crafting that people won't do. Crafting. No, it's going to probably not. It's going to be less efficient. Well, yeah. not less efficient, but no. like it's probably it going to be less time consuming. But mm. just like you get, if it's normal items, it'll be lower. But if it's collectibles, it could rival it. Somewhat. Yeah, it's less tedious mm. because to to do crafting, you need to gather the materials or buy mm. them, uh, yeah. which is expensive. So with gathering and diadem, you don't really pay anything, and you're only gathering the one item that you. There's no se like Jorgi said. There's no I second agree. step. It's just one step. Collect. Mm. Well, Do I guess there's two the steps. Collect will deliver. Have in like just the one zone, we'll have all the sky builders crafting mats, which would that'd be nice. Instead of having to go that around, be around the world. Right. Mm, yeah. Um, be I weird assume. because the lore of some of them specifically. Well, yeah, but yeah. like the um, Sky Builders lizard specifically mentions that they come from not of our shard. They mention that it comes from the first and that they are being horribly ripped apart from their family and brought as, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. as tribute to, uh, yeah. to some Ishgardian <laughs> nobles. Yeah. Oh, bless them. Uh, right, moving on. Uh, the Final Fantasy XIV documentary has had its part two released uh, uh -huh. this week. Thursday. Uh, Thursday, yeah. It's every Thursday. Uh, this mm -hmm. episode focused on love world, world design. design. Yeah, creating the first, I believe it was called. Yes, it's uh, very it was pretty cool. There's yeah. a guy who does just lighting. He does all the weather effects and dungeon lighting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. It talks about where they got the inspiration for all the different zones. Yeah. Um, they went to Saudi Arabia, I think, for... We all know um, about the Saudi Arabia trip. They, kept, yeah, they wouldn't talked stop about talking Amaran. about it pre They've talked about how they took pictures of sand <laughs> and sand. rocks. Yeah, and, showed and a, they showed, showed the a picture. picture of them pointing a camera at the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Kalush is based off of not the White Cliffs of Dover, but a similar yeah. place in the UK called the Seven Sisters. Yeah. The I Clouds... Was... In the it's... first, based on Guam clouds. Guam? I mean, yeah. Guam is relatively close to Japan, so that would have been one of the easier travel yeah. trips they went on. So, there you go. Did, they talk, really about, did they talk about all the zones, or did they only talk about Kalusia and Emmering? They well, talked about Lake Land and how it's purple because of the Mordona's weather effect gloom is purple, and that's why it's got yeah. purple trees. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't specifically, like... It wasn't. They, it was more sectioned. Of, no, it wasn't sectioned. They okay. just Raktika talk about like how they did that, things. And Ronka was based on Angkor Wat. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat. What? What? Um. Um. Yeah. What other zones are there? I don't think it talks about Il Magri. But really. but Lakeland was interesting because I believe he said it's a, a mirrored more. Well, the whole. Yes, it is. But we know so, that. So. No, but is it actually? I've never gone and looked. If is the well, shape... the source. He just means I that. Know. I thought he meant literal because I thought. No, no, wow, no, no, no. Did they pull that one on us? Is it like? No, because there is well, a central um, lake. The lake is on the left side of the map in the first, where it's on the right mm. side of the map on Aorzia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like a carbon copy. Flip, of no. the but it's it's very. But what based. they said, what they said though, was that they wanted they or the original plan was to just recreate Mordona, but without like the broken shit. Yeah, and then Ichikawa went. Uh, she wanted like the she want what was she the one who who asked for the purple? I can't remember. They they wanted. Yeah, she drew a picture or something and edited it to show yeah. what she wanted. Yeah, and they thought the purple mist in uh, Mordona is so iconic, so they just mm. transferred that to the leaves. Mm. Yeah. Um, was she still holding the alpha plushie? She, was she wasn't in actually this. in it, sadly. No, she okay. just they just appeared vicariously. Yeah, um, um, but it was. Um, I I quite liked it. Yeah, it's an interesting. It's just a ten minute video. They're very. They touched on um, the dwarven houses as well, mm -hmm. and the madness of Yoshi P saying these houses <laughs> need to be small to let only dwarves get in or whatever. Yeah, they did not. They were not on board with that originally. It sounded no. like, but. Um, yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, worth a watch. Worth a watch. Mm -hmm. Next episode will be out on Thursday. Um, yeah. Six parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move on to the main story. Uh, oh, God. We actually haven't... That is a great discussion. We haven't done that in a while. It's mm. time for the great discussion.
<sighs> What's bye, next? Bye, bye, bye. That's the question. Mm. Mm. We've just finished 5.2. Uh, yes. And there are more questions now than 5.1, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but um, there's... Because I remember when we talked... When we did this great discussion last time, I don't think we were right on anything. Because we didn't know where we were I going. I don't think any I don't of us really remember what we said. <laughs> to be honest, a little bit to go around waking up warriors of light. We definitely didn't think that would happen. No, because no. well, we, we just thought we had, his plan had, would be bad. We had just <laughs> gone out of the. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we said his, but we were no, no, no. We were right about the body snatching thing. That was obvious, mm. but we did call that. Yeah. Um, there was. Um, we just didn't understand his the, the reason for it. We now mm -hmm. kind of see w what he's going for. Um, let's just, let's just start with, with what we, uh, with the Scions. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? Yes. What's going to happen? I think, I mean, it's pretty obvious that in the next patch, some of those characters are going to make it back to the source. Uh, no, sorry. Probably. Next patch or in the patch after? Wait, sorry. I think I'm thinking I, about because Eden because Eden has kind of spoiled it. This is also referenced in a mug mail that we should be reading, but mm. because okay, I'll I say I'll say what I'll, what it does. And when you finish Eden, the story, they're like, oh, the next quest will will be provided by this character. It will not be provided by Orianje this time. And I'm like, w why? Why is that? Is it because he will be? And also remember, they synced the main scenario in Eden. So for you to finish Eden, you have to have finished the MSQ. Mm. Yes. So yeah. it's possible that there are. We also know that Thancred and Oriange are the two people that needs to get out as soon as possible because they're already starting mm. to feel well, they, bad. They do touch upon it in Eden. They specifically say they talk about like when they leave that they have to leave to eventually. Leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, no, yeah they yeah. specifically say that it's unlikely that they'll be there for the yeah, next. Yeah, this is the last. Oh. This is where we part ways. Whatever. This is probably yeah. the last mm. time we're helping. Yeah. Because it technically. Eden's fixed. Yes. From our point yes. of view, because we've restored all the elements and the great empty or whatever is going to now slowly, progressively get nicer. Yeah. We don't know it's all going to go wrong and have four more fights. No. So from Thancred and Uriange's point of view, they've done, and it's just like an overseeing project for Reen and Gaia. Yeah. Do, who do you, do you think we're going to lose one? A Scion? No, not a Scion. What do you mean lose one? Die. No. Okay. Not at this juncture. I don't a think. part of me thinks we could see Thinker die before he gets back to the source. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. I feel mm. like they've done a fake out with Thinker before, so they can't really do that again now. So, mm. but I feel like they've they've cut off all the worst signs, and the people we're left with, I actually kind of like. <laughs> How dare you? Like we've got rid oh, of useless wow. like Minfilia. Oh, and that's, I agree with Minfilia though. Eda slash Lise. Papalimo Papa was actually Limo pretty good. Should not but have died. His voice was annoying. Not for well, the it wasn't one. when he died though. No, no when he died he was good cool. Voice. Yeah, yeah. I'd like him to come back. To be honest, they're never going to kill you. Uh, an Astian overlord. Yeah. Oh, I've said that I think they can. I could see them killing Ishtola, but she'll be in some sort of omnipresent p Ugh, position, similar to Minfilia. Spare ones. me, no, please. I don't want that to happen, Lakeel. No. I'm just saying that I, I can yeah. see them doing that with her. Thancred Maybe... getting stuck—that is terrifying. Like he would like be trapped, just... like As in a between, spirit. like in the, I guess. Oh, in void. the void. Well, it, you know what in I mean. We just world? interstellar rift. Yeah, I don't know. Do you yeah, go through the live stream? Of... Yeah, the, the rift. Yeah, I think it's more the interstellar rift, yeah. which is the live just, stream is uh, like where the ether lives. Tangible and difficult to imagine. Yeah. yeah. Though the interstellar rift allows us to see like fragments of other timelines. Yeah. Oh, I hope what we use that game. like so we can see Galmora, or. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Don't uh, don't uh, try and bring in like okay. the time travel expansion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, yeah, there's also the the risk that uh, the Exarch was gonna. He may mm. die. Croak. 
There's a chance he might have to kill himself at this point. I still I... like my theory that he fully crystallizes and we who use him housing item. as... No, you ruined it with the housing item thing. I hate that. No, well, I didn't mention the housing item, but I... But no, we just use him as a giant um, aura site and we, <laughs> we like, put all the science inside of him and we take him back to the source. Oh, I'd love to watch that cutscene. <sighs> That'd be... Absolute that's, nightmare. No, that's awful. I don't like that at well, all. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Uh, and, then, uh, and then, and then we wake up the graha on our, on our, yeah, our graha. source, yeah. and we <laughs> show him <laughs> our crystal <laughs> oh, statue of himself. <laughs> That'd be horrible. That's awful. I think, on a more realistic note, the travel beacon thing that he's making will function in the end, and we'll go back. Just as we probably think we will in mm. that. Okay. Yeah. As for Graha, Exarch version, maybe he'll have to remain on the first, but maybe something will happen to make the Graha on the source wake up and he can join in on the future adventures. I don't I've know. always one theory I've always had about Graha is that um they may like combine like Yeah, they might converge into one timeline or something weird like that. Yeah, yeah. where like Maybe that's what happens. Going back to my <laughs> brilliant theory, where okay. we bring his crystallized body. Oh, to forget oh. with this! Stop trying and to. Then, this is horrible. And then, and then when our gra when the source's graha like touches it, like the he, like, his memories and it. yeah, and he gets all of the memories and stuff from the graha that was on the first. And now he's got a portable ether, right? <laughs> himself. Uh... Yeah, I. I no. I kind of am okay with that theory, other than the whole like it's actually horrible. him being a crystallized. No, the idea that he could, like gets his memories back and just becomes one person. Mm -hmm. That part of it, yeah. I like that part. I think because I, I think they I like think... Raha as a character, yeah. and keeping him around. I yes. think, yeah. I, yeah, I think they can safely kill the Exarch because they have a backup. Exactly. Yeah. On they the have source. a backup. Yeah. Yeah. They have the original. They have the original. Even the original. They do have the original, yeah. So, um, yeah. But for the Scions themselves, I I still am not sure whether, because this is a two-parter, mm -hmm. whether the ending of 5.3, they'll get back to the source, or whether we'll have to wait until that's concluded and then we go into 5.4. Because I think the majority of it is still going to take place on the first to sort out Elizabeth's yeah. Warriors of Light thing. Yeah. I think we're going to solve Elizabeth's Warrior of Light thing in the next patch, to be perfectly honest. We'll solve it I in think... one, I think, but I don't I think, think we'll not... go back to the I think... source. I well... think the signs will get back to the source at the very end of Yeah, 5. maybe 3. like the last cutscene or something, yeah. And they're like, oh, oh wow. Yeah. Because 5.3 should be the end of the first storyline, because 4 is the yeah. pivot, mm. so well, that's when we'll probably Four's return Garland to the source. Mode, yeah. Uh, or like just some random place. Yeah. Because that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. So uh, speaking of Elidibus, how mm. are we? Is there anything we want to say about the Scions? By the way, do we? Do you think they're all going to be transferred at the same time? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I think it makes more I don't, sense. I, if if not all at the same time, there'll be one going first, and then the rest will all do it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, and also like, that, that makes it, it that also makes it more p possible that someone during mm. that mass transit one of them doesn't make it so someone they dies. fuse they into like one person like Alice and Alphino before the level no, seven no, I knew a bit, <laughs> yes! go a little bit like that but all of them into like it, basically it's like cuckoo lane but yeah. scions oh. mm -hmm. horrible mm. with like five heads mm. how quickly do you think Yashola will solve the 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 thing she's dealing with in, in Anamnesis and Ida, will it be right at the start of 5.3? It'll 100% be right at the start. It'll be, yeah. let's go and check on your stola. And then she'll go, oh, I've really, really been thinking my hardest about this and I've suddenly solved it all. I'm so smart. Like, well, I don't know. No. Don't, don't act like that. that's that, that like, <laughs> questionable. It's like, you all have had about three months of in-game time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Um... But yeah, she'll probably, and then we'll have a big lore dump of what really happened or something. Mm -hmm. Then Elizabeth might gate crash the scene and be like, "Ha ha ha! Clap clap clap! Now you know the truth. What are you gonna oh, do? How about this? Like Yishola fixes it. She calls us there, 
And just as she's about to activate it, Elidibus comes in and destroys it. And kills her. Ooh. That's not happening. But <laughs> just like Elidibus destroying our opportunity of finding out more of the past. Elidibus kidnaps her. And then we have to go into the chrysalis hard mode to save her. What do you think about no. that then? I don't want to I think don't about like that. that. Chrysalis hard mode is, that's the, uh, no, no. <laughs> Um, okay, right, sorry, well, Elidibus. I will then. say, yes? maybe not in the next patch, we might eventually get the final chrysalis, or the final chrysalis of faith at some point, because I can see us going back there for, like, some <laughs> repeated... <laughs> yeah, like, we probably will. I that's hate that. Thing. If I Because it's so iconic, oh. though. It's like the ASEAN world, almost. It is. Yeah, it's, like, it's where they all sit around and talk. And yeah, it's just some random place we went for one quick fight. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, speaking of Elidibus then. Uh, his hmm. plan yeah. is... Uh, to cr he's creating warriors of light all over the first. He's just repeating mm. the original plan mm -hmm. of that world. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he's not very imaginative. No, but no. Um... Well, What's... it's a, it's like on an accelerated level because before it only involved five, but now he's sending like an entire army true. of them out into the world. Yeah. But there'll be no one left to help if they're all warriors of light. What do you mean no one left to help? Well, if everyone on the world becomes a warrior of light, yeah, then there's that's... no like, little old lady who needs you to collect five <laughs> bear meat. Everything's going to just break hey. down. Like society's going to break down. That person that starts with a T that I can't remember the name of, he, the reason he was late to seeing us to kill that senator was because he was helping an old woman, escorting an old woman to the. Um, that is true. Yeah. Oh yeah. To the something Thaler. imperative. Thaler. Yeah, Thaler. Thank you. Um, yeah, that is true. But hmm. uh, I don't know. Will more senators be created because of all the warriors of light? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Well, wouldn't it be... <sighs> hmm. I don't know what forms them. Well, to me, it doesn't quite make sense. Because the Warriors of Light, back in the day, they were fighting void scent, like darkness creatures, right? Yeah, I don't Shadow know if they War. were necessarily void scent, but they were like... They were darkness. They were darkness. They were doing expected. stuff against... They were creatures so, yeah. attuned to darkness. Yeah, which is why the world flipped over to light. But there are no... Yeah. Such there's hardly any of those creatures left. They're all well, yeah. Light I don't really know what enemies. the aim is at this point. Mm. Instead, I would they would usher in darkness. I guess. No, no, they're warriors of light. No, they're warriors of light. They do that good, make and then sense. goodwill fills the world, uh, and everything becomes more. So astral. they're still. I guess they're still just. Yeah, it's just still overaspected light. I guess. Yeah. They're just mm. They're just trying adding to get to the it back pool. To if everlasting light comes back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. No. Well, if ever might... Lysen Light comes back, it will only it won't be for the entirety. It'll, it'll just be for dramatic way. effect for like a, a battle yes. or something, and then it'll will clear it out. Um. Yeah, I still don't quite understand his plan. His plan is a little. Is it really that simple? Is that all he's doing? Yeah, that's the that's the question. Like, would they really give us something that's remember? We were going into 4.2 thinking it was going to be some simple Yotsu, like, uh, oh, yeah, redemption, redemption arc. Yeah, and yeah. then when what we actually got with 5, 4.3, I have faith that they'll do something interesting with it. I just don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think they will. Yeah, there's also the question of whether or not he is the Elidibus that. Because we learned that Elidibus. No, wait. Hold on. Elidibus was the heart of Zodiac. The Elidibus that Emmett Self and Lahabrea and the rest of the convocation knew. Yeah. Yes. Um, is it the same person? Is it the same? Is it is, it, is Elidibus is the heart? Question. The same Elidibus that is now walking around as Ardbert. Mm. Um, well, the thing about Elidibus, though, is that. His goal is to keep balance between light and darkness, as far as we are aware. Yeah. Yes. So. He's not doing a good job on the first. Doing? 
Well, well, yeah, but maybe he's thinking about it on the grand scheme yeah, of things. He, yeah, he might be doing that. Because the void, obviously, the 13th is completely dark. <laughs> so maybe having the first completely light is yeah. good. Yeah, maybe his way. goal is to slam the two shards together in some... Yeah. Ooh, be There's got to be something more to his plan, because he's the weird one. He's the odd one out. Mm-hmm. He's the one who, for some reason, just presented himself to us and was like, hey, guys, I'm an Asian and I'll hang around for a bit. Yeah. Before yeah. Emmett Selk made it fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. it, it's also interesting when you think about it because the 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 void is the 13th and the first mm. is mm. the first. So yeah. it, yes. it makes sense. They're right next to each other. So probably. it's like balance. The well, I believe we're between the, the two of them. Yeah. That's probably true. Yeah. But if it's on either side, then maybe he's wants them both to impact at the same time or something. Mm-hmm. And that will be like mm. a big shower of light and dark ether. I don't know what it would do. Maybe it'll be like a magnet, like a magnet where they're attracted to each other, but we're in the middle. Yeah. Maybe it will. I feel like we're spinning yeah. off now. This is wild. No, no, but this is. This is just, I can see this it. Is good I theory. See it. This yeah, is good yeah, yeah. theory. Yeah. Put your hat on. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Um... It does make more sense. Because maybe if they are like magnets, <laughs> if one of them's too strong, the source will start drifting to it. <laughs> yeah, mm. I guess. Um... He's definitely always been about balance. I I think yeah, that has. that's probably yeah. something to do with what he's doing now. Yeah, He wants mm. the light back because it was aiding whatever his grand scheme is. Because mm-hmm. mm. it's not like they're best, all best friends. No. no, they all have their own plans and and goals and stuff. So mm-hmm. he's just the last one. Yeah, I don't think any of the unsundered Asians liked each other that much. No. no, no. I mean, they weren't there because they wanted to be there. They were just there, I guess, yeah. together in that mm. position. Um, yeah, we also know that Elizabeth hated Emmett Selk or uh, strongly disliked uh, Emmett Selk. Yeah. Um, right. Um, let's talk about Rin and Gaia, I guess, because um, oh, it, with sh- any luck, they'll fade into obscurity. Do you think? I think oh, before we go into Rin and Gaia, yeah. What do you think is going to happen to the Scions' jobs when we get to the source again? Because oh, consider back. the fact that they, but consider the fact that they have specific jobs. For the purposes of trust. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. They might just change it. So well, there, there are. They just keep the first jobs now. Mm-hmm. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, White Mage lost uh, one of its icons, I guess. <laughs> Yustola. Uh, I don't mean they could easily make it work. Just flipping her to. Either again. They, they might find a way to but rebound. Uriange was more of a summoner, isn't he? He is an arcane. He's just an arcanist. Yeah. yeah, so he could do. He could be a DPS or a DPS slash healer, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm. But they could probably fix it. Yeah. Well, we don't have a t- is the difficult one. We don't have a tank on the source. Thancred mm. can stay as Gunbreaker. He looks cool as a Gunbreaker. Yeah. Mm. We might get new outfits from Tataru. Mm. When they return, maybe. Uh, oh, I, well, they still have their own clothes on the source. It's yes, they like have different outfits gone. on the source. Yeah, that is true. Mm. Um, Which is weird in its own way because they're only like ghosts on the first. Why? Why? How have they managed to clothe themselves? Because they're like souls, like solidified into bodies, is seemingly what we've heard. Yeah. Ah, okay. So there's they are like you can touch them. Yeah. But like because their souls have been like so far like separated from their actual bodies for so long they're starting to lose that connection between the two of them yeah, yeah. uh right back to reen and gaia we've talked about uh the void or of the 13th uh, mm. do you think I so i feel like, did we talk about did, we talked about this on stream last week i think did we i feel mm-hmm. because uh, we talked about eight and yes, uh, yes how, we, yeah yeah um I still feel like 
it makes the most sense that that's where we're going in the next part that we're going mm-hmm. to the I wouldn't we're, we're done with Eden so we are done with Eden we have to deal with what's wrong with Gaia now like with the the fairy thing or whatever yeah. that's probably going to be the yes. main focus of the last part and it's going to be Reen and Gaia and not Orion and without Orianje and Thancred yes. um this might be the first time we get to like see proper world of not world of darkness well the 13th the, of the void. we say oh, no. we say world of darkness is like the 13th but that is more like a homage to 3 that that's mm-hmm. not necessarily yes, the is. void that we've heard about since then um so we might ultimesia's castle is it possible yeah i think it's possible i think it's possible yeah i, I really want it to be like Awesome. I want you to go to the great empty thing where mm. Eden is, and there's already a massive chain stuck in the floor. Yeah, we talked about this. And chain. like the sky is cracked. Yeah. And yeah. you have to run up and you go into. I mean, that would just be so cool. That would be very cool. And also, the castle has so many <sighs> bosses to choose from. Like, so many. You can just pick and choose. Mm. I. S- Rather than the chain, which I think would be cool, I think we're more likely to use. And there's some sort of like to fly there, yeah. yeah. Temporal, like, like, yeah, yeah. Bismarck, but for the interdimensional rift. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, probably. Um... Not as cool, but <laughs> no, it's not as cool. But it would more, it'd be more similar to when you use it's the dreadnought, isn't it, to fly up to the thing in eight. To fly to the thing in eight? Which, where? The Did castle? Tr- no, wait. Where? Yeah. Before you go to the time compressed world. Uh huh. Part that comes before the time compression. The part where you fight. Um, what's that sorceress that was in the space station, Lucille? Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Adele. Uh, yeah, Adele. Oh, yeah. yeah, so when you fly to. Oh, yeah, the yeah, castle, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think it might start with that. And then once we're there, we will go Lunatic to Lunatic like... Pandora? Was yes. that? Yeah. Okay. And it's the Ragnarok. Yes. Thank the you. Ragnarok. The Ragnarok. The airship. Yes. Yeah. There you go. I'm sorry, chat. The end of eight is just. It's a fever <laughs> it's dream. It's a tough one. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. And I mean, even if we don't actually go to the 13th, but it still has Ultimacy's castle as the arena, that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and have yeah, what... I suppose Reen and Gaia are in a weird way, just like representatives of the first and the thirteenth. They're just light. She's the yeah. word of the mother, and Gaia is the word of the father. Do we, do they refer to Zodiac as father in any way? Oh, they must do. It's a, a he, father crystal. It? Uh, yeah, yeah, I it think is it he. is a he. Yeah, but... the father crystal doesn't flow. That well, mm, no, no. I guess um, that's why they don't use it much. No. Do I want to know how Gaia became? Yes. An Oracle of Darkness, mm. considering she is from the first. Yes. Yeah. I feel like her backstory is not really consistent. No. Well, I think almost like she was made by someone who didn't really understand the game. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, c- could it be? Yeah, her backstory. So far, we know that she's from Yulmor. She was a free citizen of Yulmor. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then she lost but a big portion of her life. It's really weird, though, that no one recognizes her. Well, yeah. Yes. That is the one thing that I find a little strange, especially considering how Yulmor stopped. Like, It, it wasn't a, a, a city that took in a lot of people. It was it, For you to become a free citizen was a pretty big deal. Mm. Uh, mm. So yeah. it was weird that no one remembers I mean, I thought maybe they were fake memories that have been put mm, there. The, the the problem I have with the idea that they're fake memories is that she had an actual place that she had yeah, like, belongings that in that yeah. brought to the um, brought with them to Amarang and then the empty. That's the big thing that prevents me from thinking that it's entirely inaccurate. Yeah, I mean, my initial thoughts with her was similar to the the boy from the caster. Role quest where he Quest's got trapped right, yeah. in the void, mm-hmm, yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. it was, and yeah. then years later came out. But 
being a free citizen of Yulmore and having belongings there, mm-hmm. it can't have happened that long ago that she disappeared. Yes. Mm, so that's true. Yeah. Um, I don't think she would have. I don't think the possessions would have stolen. I don't think that would have been allowed to happen. And I don't <laughs> think Thancred would have like gone along with it. No. I think he would have started the question like. Are you sure these are your things? <laughs> oh, yeah. You, yeah. Have, you also have to remember, we're dealing with time compression and time magic in the storyline. Tech- That's possibly, true. If this, well, if uh, we possibly are, but not. So, it's not been touched upon yet, really. Also, yeah, they're uh, saying in but, chat, well, remember, the, is... the, guy, the boy that we pulled out of the void was in there like a hundred years later, wasn't he? Yes. And he was still the same. So Yes, but he was... Not not so well. No, he was not. But <laughs> <laughs> but that is true. It could, yeah. It, it, Gaia could have been in the void for like hundreds of years, and then like her place was just because Yulmore is full of like just like f- like what are bonded citizens? Whether yeah. or not maybe they they weren't they were like f- f- free bonded citizens because that's the ones the bonded citizens that work in like the honey the the. The beehive. Yeah, the beehive. Yeah. And, like, so maybe there are, like, other ones that just go around making sure that the rooms are clean that would have prevented it from seeming, like, just dusty and stuff. Mm, That's possible. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. How do you think it's going to end? Maybe Gaia gets possessed by what, Ultimethia yeah, or something. Yeah, let's just establish that first. What do you think the final battle is going to be about? Why are we here? It's got to be sor- sorcerer stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so mm-hmm. too. The fairy isn't actually a fairy. Probably. No. It's probably Ultimethia trying to call through time to yeah. her. And mm-hmm. make her like she does when word. she needs to pick a, n- yeah. a new body. To, to Yeah, so she'll transfer into Gaia. But I think for the sake of fan service, Guy will suddenly transform into Ultimecia, mm. as we know her from 8. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that'll yeah. be the boss. Mm-hmm. Because she finally get, like she gets her? Like she, she gets. turns her into a sorceress? Yeah, she turns... And she just yeah. turns into Ultimecia. Uh, I don't know if that will be the final fight. I think there will be a fight where Gaia is possessed by Ultimecia, mm. but I think that ultimately she will end up being separated, similar to what happens in 8, where we just defeat Ultimecia non like attached to any ah. one yeah. that's, sorceress. that's possible yeah oh god i wish we could fight like sorceresses from eight like we could fight adele that would be cool but that wouldn't mm. be possible i wouldn't well actually in Ultimesia's castle everything makes sense because time is just warped so we can just fight anything um i don't think we're gonna fight <laughs> the uh, adele fight was very weird in eight i think adele was well, mostly just wasn't got like renoa was an unusual like, character onto yeah he had their um, chest. That'd be a re- that does make me think that Gaia, could be a really f- Gaia could be fused on. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, it's not the first time Gaia's been attached to a. Yeah, was that that's not true? A, a I, what I think could be an interesting mechanic, like an actual fight mechanic, would be because healers normally just heal the party. Mm. Imagine if we had to heal Gaia while also dealing damage. That would be to really cool that as would a mechanic. Be interesting. Yeah, yeah, because that was the big Especially thing with the other fight. Yeah. Mm. You couldn't use. Oh God, no one can use like. Oh, that would be AOEs. awful. AoEs oh. would be... Yeah, that, oh. so every time you AoE heal, the boss would heal as well. So you have to only single target Gaia. <laughs> no, I don't think they can do that. That would be too difficult. I don't think that would no. <laughs> they would just make Gaia like a green NPC thing. So they, yeah. they would... Yeah. yeah. Um, God, that would be a really cool mechanic. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, well, now I want it to it, happen. <laughs> yeah, watch it not happen. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because in in Ultimisia's castle we fight other sorceresses, just generic sorceress. Remember, we had like lots of those just sorceress fights. Mm. Oh my god! Yeah, they could do so much cool stuff with like the castle. Because remember, there was like that room where everything just constantly changed when you moved. There was, they like, could lo- do like the paintings puzzle. They're not going to put puzzles into the and the, the raid mailer. Uh, Why not? They might have a reference to it in the, in a cutscene, maybe. Mm. Um. Yeah, so well, the, the that do fight we, from Omega had like the different inks and the drawings and stuff, which was a like a puzzle. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Mm. I mean, the Savage one was very meticulous. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just don't think they'd want to do another painting-based raid. No, no. I guess. Um. So, uh, 
killing Ultimicia at the end. Is that what we think? I really hope so. Yes. Yeah. Possibly with some some a griever boss, maybe? A griever boss would be cool. I mean, she could have multiple faces, which is yeah. technically what the griever fight was. Griever transitioned into Ultimicia. There was no break in between griever and Ultimicia. Griever was that. I feel wolf. like if they're doing it in this game, though, they'll do Ultimicia and, like, in the Savage version, the extra phase would probably be Griever or something like that. Because they mm. wouldn't hide Ultimicia. In the normal. Mo oh, yeah, that's true. Uh. If they do decide to do that. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that and being disappointed when it's nothing like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're we're kind we've of hyped up for a really cool. Because <laughs> what are we doing? What's gonna happen to Eden in all of this? Is Eden just gonna Eden's good? It's just gonna float. Eden's forever. gonna just float forever and make the world better again. But mm. in such a long time span that it'll never matter to us. Mm. Okay. I mean, we're just... never gonna see the first restored. I think it's pretty. Oh yeah, cool. no, we will never see. The first mm. Um. Right. Uh. Let's talk about someone we haven't talked about uh, at all. Uh, Sinos. Mm. An Asahi, and not Ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sinos. Unexplained wardrobe change. Yeah, unexplained. Well, it. Yeah, kind of unexplained. <sighs> I mean, is it unexplained? How unexplained is it? Because the Xenos. Xenos. Was only wearing that before because um, he was. It was Elidibus pretending to be Xenos, and then Xenos took his body back, so he was still wearing that from then. Yeah, but I was thinking, and we we we've discussed this before, whether or not Xenos would become emperor. I think he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Yeah, but I thought maybe the the fact that he's now changed into what looks like a like an imperial uniform that maybe he's trying that is... to. Like, they're trying to sh tell us visually that he has become Emperor of Garlemald. Yeah. What does... If... Has anyone... <coughs> what, anyone who's played Dissidia NT... Oh, I yeah. Know it's, 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 <laughs> it's an unlikely question for someone to say yes to. But, um... What is the outfit referred to in that game? Because I always thought it was, like, a more casual outfit, yeah, not a... Yeah, we talked about... A, yeah, we, 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 we talked about how it could just be, like, a... A royal uniform, not necessarily an mm. emper uh, emperor one. But remember, it's Emmett Selleck's called un Imperial Court Attire One. <clears throat> that, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it is, so that does that does kind of explain what we were thinking, that it and is his just old outfit would have been called either Imperial Crown Prince One or no. Negative okay, so the fact that they one. they <clears throat> there's a distinction. Well, it's still vague. It's still just an Imperial Court well, uniform. I think this is more like. But the I'm other thinking one, the about armor these. Is, Hmm. I think the armor is Emmett. combat, and then this is more like, just like yeah, in court regalia. Yeah, what he what he wears around the house, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so comfortable and easy to get into. Yeah, yeah. it's like for Xenos, this is like tracksuit buttons. What 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 I don't yes. get though is that why is he n now not wearing armor? Because. <laughs> Because before he was always on the war front. He was there's always... a civil war. There's a there's a battle oh, for he's succession. Because he doesn't cry. care. He has dreams now. Oh, he has burning dreams. Cities. Okay. Um, to well, be honest, it really still is an It doesn't now. matter. Quite whatever like, whatever he is. I mean, obviously he can't be emperor because they need the civil war to go on to destabilize Garlemald in the story. Yeah. Um, but... Um, Yes, anyways, that's not the main point. He's... Uh, why were we talking about his clothes? Uh, I just said unexplained change of clothes. Oh, yeah, sorry, yes. It is it is unexplained in the stories. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're not going to mention... They're uh, going to detail about why he's changed his clothes. But Asahi is in... We just refer to him as Asahi now, but... Please don't be. <laughs> he's just chilling in the room there mm -hmm. uh, with Sinos, dreaming about Amorot. Um... Yeah. What is the deal here? One, isn't it? Who is this? Because also he's dead. Also he is dead. Have we talked about the potential that this is? I can't remember if we mentioned this on our last podcast that um, it's possible that Hythlodius possessed him, possessed also his body. I feel like we've said something like We've've, that, I but think something like that came up. But 
From where? Yeah. Where's Hythelodius in all this? <clears throat> and why would um, Hythelodius... How has he just suddenly, like, appeared to possess someone? Yeah. Well, I just think it has to be an Essien that we know. And it's not... I don't think it's going to be that one... What was that one that everyone kept talking about that was mentioned previously that just, like, hasn't been oh, relevant yeah, that for a very long time? Oh, yeah, that weird voiced uh, one from Ramaborn. Essien... Uh, fuck. Is it... Oh, I can't remember. It might have been Pashtarot. Pashtarot. Yeah. Yeah. Pashtarot. I think it's either going to be Vinar or Hyflod. It Vinar, has to be someone that we know. Vinar makes and, sense and because Vinar is just suddenly introduced as a name. Yes. And <laughs> he was the heart of Hydaelyn and Elidibus. Is I'm pretty sure Vinar is a woman. I feel like it's not just French that mentions it by as a woman. It's the German cl client that does oh. it as well. That, well, they can still possess bodies that are male. Though. Yeah, I think we need no, to... No, I do. I just think that... I No, because Vinar in the past is referred to as... Yeah. As, a, a, it... as with female pronouns. Well, it doesn't matter. We don't know. Technically don't... In the English one, we don't know the gender of Vinar. Um, I think we need to say Vinar is a they. They are a they, until we know okay. what they are. It, because right now there's no significance into w what gender they are. Um, the We don't know anything about them. No. But if they have possessed Asahi's body, it will be very interesting because now we have the heart of Zodiac and the heart of Hydaelyn, or people uh, that became them. This would just mm. frustrate me because where have these characters been up until now? Yeah. Well, maybe I you'll find like, out. Yeah. I don't like things just appearing out of nowhere. Well, well that's part of the mystery. We just don't have the explanations yet. Yeah. I mean, we have They've probably we have fucked up a plan though. Like things are, yeah. The first didn't go as planned. Things might mm. be get it getting a little unstable. Maybe I don't know. We they, we might know in the next patch. Um, there might also just be a pop up thing that happens in stories. Sometimes they just need someone to progress the plot. Because um, remember, Emmett Selk, at originally felt like he came out of nowhere. Yeah. Emmett Selk did come out of nowhere. Yeah. You... It just turned out he was there all along. Yeah. So it's possible that Vanar or Hythelodius were there all along as well. It's just now they're making themselves known to us. Yeah. All right. I'll allow it. He was Solus, yeah, but we didn't know he was Emmett Selk. No. Emmett Selk was revealed in 4.4. 4. 4. By name? No. I feel like we... We referred to him as Solus until at least 4.5. Mm. Yeah. Pretty sure? Maybe not? It's been so long. Was it 4.4? I, mean, he, I think he might even have been introduced as Solus for Shadowbringers. No, we know it. We knew Emmett no. Selk's name before Shadowbringers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 4.3 at the wall. It was that early. He was looking for someone named Emmett Selk. But we didn't know that that was Solus at the time, though. Right? Ah. Uh, because I remember, yeah, I remember no, guys saying Emmett know. Selk, and we were like, who is this mystery name? Yeah. That's also not at the wall. That's when... um The burn? The burn. Uh, yeah, that's in the burn when Alphano and Maxima's ship crashes. Yeah. yeah, that's the wall we're talking about. But the wall didn't exist then, is what I'm... Is just my point. Oh, oh, right. Oh, right. It wasn't at the... Oh, wall doesn't it, exist, the wall doesn't exist until 4.4. But I thought that... Oh, I thought that was when Gaia said he was looking for someone named Emmett Selk. But I guess not. I can't remember. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, this is, that part of the story is probably the most mysterious one right now. The Cenos yeah. thing. But also probably the most important for the next expansion. It's, yeah, it's definitely going to be like part of the pivot thing. That's like going to be yeah. the main plot after we're 100%. done with the first. They probably won't even appear much in this next patch. Possibly not. They'll just be in the meanwhile in the, on the source. It's gonna, it's, yeah, we're just going to get a cutscene at the end of the patch, just showing what's happening yeah. on the source, like setting up for the next patch. And that's depending on how quickly we go back there. Mm -hmm. There might be like a quick bit, but no, not much. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay. I don't think it's Asahi, though. You don't well, think no. it's Asahi? I think Maybe it's his body. I think it's his body. 100% like, his body. Yeah, it probably is his body, but it's so annoying, isn't it? It is annoying when they just I know it dig bothers. up I, old I'm bodies. I'm the only person that this doesn't bother that, me that much. It's well, just, at this I think point, this just bring quite... back Papalimo and make him like some 
ASEAN puppet as well. Yeah, yeah. Maybe oh. they will. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we've kind of talked about Graha. Let's just talk about Gaius while we're on Gaius. Um, we can get back to Graha. Um, the Ruby weapon storyline we sort of mm-hmm. touched on last time. Um, Gaius sort of splitting off from the MSQ now with the side story mm-hmm. quest. Do you yeah. think he will come back into the story? At some point? I'm still of the opinion that this will come side with 5.5 storyline that they'll like converge at some point okay. these two I think they'll be required mm, yeah they'll probably make them required uh, quests to complete the uh, yeah. to proceed in the MSQ eventually they'll uh, either be required or they'll be heavily implied that you should do them similar yeah. yeah. to the crystal tower raid yeah uh, it'd be very strange if we got a garlamold heavy patch or expansion even and Gaius is not present in the MSQ Gaius part. is going to be there. Yeah. Ga- I think Gaius is going to transition to being is so... a very important character in our team. Gaius is very interesting mm. because he is, he is... He used to be a Legatus. He saw the light mm. <laughs> and left. I mean, he almost died. Yeah, he almost and died. And he was by an Asian. Yeah. Um, but he still kind of... And he's seen all the horrors of Garlemald. He knows how horrible Garlemald is. You can even see it when, like, he's realizing how he's brainwashed his like the those orphans yeah. children. Mm. Um, yet he still cares about Garlemald. Like he still wants to f- yeah. help Garlemald. But he knows what's mm. corrupted it. Yes. Mm. And I yes. suppose he feels that if he destroys all the Asians, he can bring Garlemald. Like Garlemald could become, say another city state style like part of the alliance maybe i don't know mm-hmm. or at least something important in the world that's not just a war machine yeah mm. yeah have we ever discussed the fact that like la Habrea was manipulating gaius who was who was essentially yeah. who was essentially a member of emmet selk's greater plans like how much was emmet selk aware of what la Habrea was doing within oh. his own army that's a good question. I feel like they were both annoyed at each other during that whole thing. Like, no, I am doing I, this plan. I think maybe La Habrea was able to do that because that was the point when Emmett Selk was still in his, like, old man decaying body. Like, he was too, like, weak and f- mm. stupid <laughs> to pay it, like... We know in the story up until that point that the emperor was just like he didn't really do much anymore. All the mm. actual power has had gone down to his to Varys at the time. No, it wasn't Varys at no, that point. It his was uncle, the or whatever, whoever was in yeah. charge. But mm. yeah, I can't remember who that was. I think one part may be that it's possible La Habrea wasn't aware that Emmett Selk was there mm-hmm. because they always talked about La Habrea being quite brash. And once mm. he had failed to do what he wanted in Garlemald, he moved on to Thorden and tried that yeah. there, and he became yeah. Asian Prime. Yeah. So maybe Emmett Stark was just biding his time to jump back in and, and do what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much they communicate. I don't know how, like, I don't know if you can recognize another Asian mm. in someone else's body easily. I, maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, we don't. We really don't know much about the, like, how the body stuff works. There's like, f- they touch on it every now and then. We know that Emmett Selk needed like he had a lot of bodies. He had a clone factory. He had a mate. clone factory mm-hmm. with loads of Emmett's or so, yeah, Emmett Selk's solace bodies. Yeah, solace bodies. Um, but I'm this. I'm jumping ahead a little. But we're, let's we can just talk about the Garlean War in general as well, yeah. uh, because that's what's happening, uh, and it's probably going to be the main focus of 6.0. Um, I don't yes. know if it's going to be the Garlean War. There has to be some. It has to be like a Garlean War or something. Well, I, the Civil War is probably going to be our jump in. We'll join yes. one side it'll, of it and then win. Yeah. It'll be, it'll, yeah, we'll join the Popul- Popularis' side. Mm-hmm. Mm. Then there'll be the, like, Imperial Legion side. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then I, I would assume Xenos is, like, in between those two factions. He just wants to find us. What happens? Yes. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to restore the Republic of Garlemald or the Empire, the Garlean Empire? 
what is Republic. the Republic? There's no way we're going to restore it as an empire. No, because everyone... Are we going to restore it? Restore the Republic? I think so, because I think we're going... I think they're trying to make Gaius sympathetic so such that we, like... And Maxima, such mm. that we would want Garlemald to still be a nation at the very least. You've got to admit, though, that from the perspective of pretty much every Eorzean, that would be a terrible idea. To what? Restore Garlemald? To to basically go up to Garland and be like, all right, we sorted out your war problems. Right, you can have free reign again. Well, that's why we're probably going to install a leader that we that is sympathetic to us. Yes. Yeah, we're going to have. We'll a still lot of meddle. We'll be like, oh, I you have freedom, yeah. but we will select your leader. <laughs> mm. We decide. That's going to be a weird one. There will not be an election. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking like Gaius could be emperor. But I don't think it'll be an emperor. I think it'll be like a house. We're just going to do. Well, I. Ex- we're going to install. We're going to install a democracy like we do everywhere. Yeah, We've got I know. To let that's them know every. <laughs> the, but with Garlemald, though, that's the one nation I would accept it because Garlemald used to be a republic. It used to be have republic, elected yes. leaders. Yeah. So that is the place where it makes the most sense. Um, but. Uh, it's also a pretty well working empire. It's just the fact that the emperors are insane. Yes. So mm. I don't know which route we're going for. It would be refreshing, I guess, I'm to see us empire. like restore an empire. It's functional. I don't know if I'd say it's like. It's very efficient. It's a fi- that's but that's not necessarily. No An indic- indicator of quality I mean, of life change, while living in the empire. If maybe they got someone like Gaius on the throne who wants the, the nation to prosper and not just kill everyone, then maybe it Chad would work. Chad is bringing up this question. What do you think of the idea of Maxima becoming the the, the Garlemald leader? That would have been interesting as it well. He's okay because yeah. he's not super important to the story so he can kind of just disappear if he needs to Mm -hmm. because i can sort of see guys taking on a more you cut out entirely you did cut out what did you say i can see guys taking on a more rauban like role in garland right yeah that makes more sense i think the thing you need to think about with garland though its inception was people being pushed out by the eorzeans Mm -hmm. so even though it has been manipulated by asians over time their birth in essence, is sort of they would all have hated the Eorzeans at that point. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they would the have story. hated the Eorzeans because I don't think they were pushed out by the Eorzeans. They were pushed out by the other uh, societies on their continent. They were no, no, no. The, the Eorzeans they were sub, the Eorzeans weren't I'm nice sure to the Eorzeans. I'm sure the Eorzeans pushed either. them out because they couldn't use they magic. They couldn't use magic, so they all laughed. Are we at sure? Them. I thought that I thought they were they were always just Ilsebardian. I don't think I never, so. I never thought they reached our continent, really. I don't remember the story exactly, but I, I have a very clear memory of that being the, that Eorcia wasn't very kind to them either, like non magic users. Yeah. Uh, that, but we're talking like pre oh, yeah, Republic ago. of Garlemald. Mm. Like, this is very long ago. Their kind was pushed out of Aldenard over to Ilsebard. I believe that's mm. how it went. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's a a long time ago. Um, I don't know. Will, the fact that if we ever restored Garlemald, it'd be very strange to have Garlians walking around in Eorzea and vice versa. Uh, There's a lot of (laughs) Garlian ideology that needs to be cleaned up in Garlemald. We did that in Ishgard. Don't worry. Yeah, that That's was very easy. Through, like, that was mass, <laughs> massive turmoil. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. It is possible that they were actually Elsabardians, I don't know. But they were definitely. Um, no, no, no. You have to remember that Eorzea didn't exist back then. There was Aldenard and Ilsebard. Oh well, yeah. The people that and became Othar. and Ulfa. Yeah. No, not originally. Uh, the uh, no, there's always been three continents. It d- yeah. did not have a name. It was just a. Uh, no, I'm not saying it side. didn't have a name, but I'm just saying it's, it's like the New continent. World. It was like the New World. It was the, it was Al- mm. Aldenard and Ilsebard, and 
the people didn't that exist then? Didn't Othardian plums always exist in oh, the game? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, Othard too, but they're not part of this story. They were <laughs> pushed out of Aldenard and they became Il Sabardi. I just Okay. I just like pointing out that Othard's always been there, because I know it upsets you. The that, world would talk suck about if a pop up continent. Pop up. Oh no, I agree with I agree with that. <laughs> um okay. Anyways, uh right. At least um, they made some of it cool. They did. Except for Ruby C. Yeah. Um, but that's not really part of Othard, though. That's, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, yes. So, but what if... Do, we have, we're going to Garlemald in 6.0. Well, we thought yeah. we were going to Garlemald this expansion. Mm. Are we going, perhaps, to space? Mm. The moon? Oh, there's the fucking the moon world. thing as well. Let's not go into the moon again. Well, the moon could just We're be... We're not going to the new world. What if we go to the moon in the latter half <laughs> Just think about Garlemald. what you're saying. <laughs> I know it sounds bonkers. <laughs> what what if we go to the moon? They keep bringing up the moon, so there has to I'm be... The just saying the, 7 I'm, I've said this before. I think the moon is the final zone of 6.0. Yes. Yeah. The moon is the most important part of the gut, the Hydaelyn Zodiac storyline in that the moon is Zodiac tech. Like in essence, yeah, that is how the story yeah. goes. Yeah. So we're definitely going to the moon mm -hmm. at some point. The moon is so arc in the way that Hydaelyn is such an ugly planet. zone. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be grey, just barren, and <laughs> yeah. yay. Even Don't better than loads of settlements. They, they could do something fun <laughs> like they did. They could do something fun with like the Tempest, a mender, a vendor. <laughs> yeah, and there's Geralt, <laughs> but of the moon. And he lives in the moon. He's got a little moon hut. The moon relics. Yeah. <laughs> the ancient moon relics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Whew, the we're laughing now. We're laughing now. You just I wait. think they'll make the moon an interesting zone. Oh, yeah, they I don't will. Think... Well, I think to the some House sort of... of Splendors, I'm Moonina. Uh... I, think it will... I think it will get some sort of Tempest-like transformation as a result of actions by Elidibus or other Asians. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's pray that something happens to not make us literally just be walking around in craters. Well, when, when, when I say that 6.0 is going to Garlemald, I mean all the provinces as well, because Garlemald is just... That's just the... the... Garlemald's technic... The city is just in the north. There's yeah. all mm, of the southern capital. Elstabad, which is where... The Galian Empire. Are. Yeah. So... Um, there's most important thing about where going to Ilsebad is whether we meet that giant titan thing walking through the oh, clouds. There's a, this, yeah, that's probably going to be... They uh, think they've said that that's... I mean, the worm was there. Yeah, I think we're going to yeah, probably right. fight that in, in whenever I we get there. Um, there's also obviously... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, also, the fact... The, one of the things that is pointing strongly towards us going to Garlemald in 6.0... Is that we seem to be headed like the Bosja Citadel? Yeah. Is uh, very it's is Bosja on in um it has to be on Ilsebard, right? It's, I'm pretty sure it's on Ilsebard. Yeah, it's yeah. in Ilsebard. So but that's seemingly the, closer to Othar. Yeah, yeah, it's like on the southeastern side, but um, there's also we're clearly also going to the, some Dalmascan areas. We've seen that in the trailer for for this. It, uh, wait, I didn't even think for, about that. For the Bosja thing, yes. Yeah, so... Yeah, I have a sneaky well, suspicion are we that the beginning of the expansion is going to be on the south of Othard. I, yeah, mm. yeah. I have a feeling that Bosja, like, just borders Dalmasca or something, which is why there's, their architecture and stuff is so similar. Mm. That's possible. Um, I don't really want to spend more time on Othard. Because I know that means <laughs> at least one less zone mm. in Ilsebard. I mean, that might just be our entry point. We yeah. might not actually get any new zones in it. No. Mm, I guess. Yeah, I want to see Dalmasca. I want to see, like... Because there's big parts of Dalmasca that is still up. I mean, we lost Rabanaster, I mean, which we... is a shame. But mm. Do you the... think we'll go through the... Vieira Forest and everything. Oh yeah, the Goldmore Jungle or whatever it's called. I can see that. Because um, Freyan always said we would meet her again. But yeah. She could That's be part true. of the Bosja Citadel storyline as well. Yeah. She could be yeah. part of the expansion. Uh, yeah. One zone though, please, for 
Dalmasca and the jungle and everything. Just one zone. One big zone, thanks. One big zone for Dalmasca. Oh, we only get six zones for an expansion. Well, one of them could just be like the starting city state. Mm-hmm. Maybe. We'll see. I mean I just want to explore Ilsabar because it <laughs> it's been such a fascination since the very beginning of the game. Yeah. Whereas I don't, you know, I mean, no one cares they, about they, Othbard. They've, they've kept I know, I agree. But they've kept Ilsebard away from us for so long. Of course they're going to give us... Well, we need a lot of it, though. Do you, yeah. like, do you remember the original I map said the where same the Guardian thing. Empire... I said the same thing about Alamigo, and boy, were, was I disappointed. Yeah. But Alamigo, I think, was more, more special to you, whereas the Guardian Empire is more special to me. It was quite prevalent in the uh, Realm Reborn story, too. It was in some way. But not super I directly. What, I think what Mayla says is he's just never cared about yeah, <laughs> exploring El Omega. I guess. Like, when you spent the whole of Aroma Reborn fighting the Guardians, and even in the map, the Guardian Empire in the top right was like all cracked and yeah, scratched yeah. out. Yeah. And you mm. thought, oh, one day I will go there. Yeah. And we still haven't. No. Which, I mean... I yeah, wouldn't... Yeah. Well, I mean, I won't be shocked if there's a more even split between Orthard and Ilsebad than you're hoping for. Consider Stormblood. Stormblood. Remember, Othard still only has three zones. They might I mean, give it more. Looking at a map of the full world, you could easily fit two zones in southern Othard. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> <laughs> and if one of the zones of the expansion is the moon, we're not going to suddenly go to Nagsha. We're going to go to we're going to go to a western region of Othard, which will be closer to Dalmasca. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely do Dalmasca, but like. Yeah, the Alaska's happening. I know, there's like that whole jungle area. Yeah, I need to find move. that image of Fran's, the map where Fran showed you. Mm, oh yeah, that showed off some of that area. No, wait, isn't that already been... It's an... not on the main... No, 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 it's not, right. Not real thing. Just secret Fran. Um... Mm, thinking about how this expansion start, I can see them doing this thing where like... <clears throat> There are two Othardian zones at the start, and then there are two separate quests in each of them that they split us between. Mm. So they do that thing where they split the player base between two different zones at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. oh. And then everything after those first two is in Ilsabad. That could work. Yeah, I can see that. Uh... The south bit has a huge jungle area with a city in it, and then a huge desert area with Damascus in it. Yeah. There you go. So there's your, yeah, there's your two zones. You've got I jungle don't want it does. Okay, in that in that case, Mela, it doesn't quite. It doesn't matter. It's new areas. It's not going to be. I guess. they're visually very different from the Althard that we've seen so far. Dalmasca is a fucking desert. City, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll uh, be kingdom. no. They'll be cool looking. Yeah. But. They're definitely not as You're cool gonna as get exploring. a lot of Ilsabard zones. It sounds like you were afraid that we're just gonna get one zone, Ilsabard. Well, like two, <laughs> maybe. But I don't want I want like Depends on what the oh. what the expansion is I'm, called. What it's I about. think we're gonna get at least three Ilsabardi. Oh yeah. I hope so. Yeah. So I'm just so interested in we're gonna get the capital. The countryside. Do you, think, do you think we'll get the capital, or will that be a dungeon? I hope that Garlemald, once it's been a dungeon or something, will be accessible. Remember Rollo's idea though about it being the seven like Macariat style raid. Oh yeah. That could still happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what I see happening with Garlemald is we won't get access to the full city because that's absurd. Yeah. Um, because they never give us a full city at the end of an expansion. Um, or the end of the initial storyline of the expansion. It'll be they like... They gave us Yulmore. But that's not a full city. It's pretty big. Well, it, it is, it is it, to a certain extent, it is their full city, but, like, it's not... You can't compare Yulmore to, like, the Crystarium or <laughs> Kugane in size. Uh, it will get a section... We'll get a section of Garlemald that will be about that size. It's going to be a Garlean quarter, yeah. Yeah, it is. Bullshit. No, it's not going to be a Garlean quarter because it's not going to be a section of a zone. I think it's going to be it's a zone. It's going to be the Garlean quarter in the corner of <sighs> North and Ilsebar. Can I just say that the Alamegan quarter is extra annoying because they have the fucking gates, like gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. Why do they, they have, have fly that? over the wall. It's, yeah. it's like the city is dead. It's like there's no... What, you have to fly over the wall or talk to the guard. Yeah. Mm, Stupid. Yeah. 
Anyways. But on the plus Neverland... side, there's no loading time for going underwater, so it's fine. It's <laughs> it's because back then, seemingly, this is, this is a problem they fixed with Shadowbringers, like, thankfully. It's because back then they couldn't create walls that would disappear. No. Yeah. Yeah. Which they have managed to do with Shadowbringers. There's quite a few sections in, I want to say, uh, in Raktika and in the Tempest at the very least, there are walls that exist yeah. initially that you can... And apparently... Well, well, not apparently. I know this for a fact. If you are letting someone ride Pillion with you, mm-hmm. you can just take them through those walls. They will just oh. go through them. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we need to wrap up, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, we probably shouldn't. Uh, well, there's no. We don't. We can't read the mog mail. But I also now realize that everything in these two mog mails have kind of been answered. The second one, not so much. Um, well, we can save the second one. Yeah. We'll. S- yeah. Okay. Uh, send us mog mail for next week. speakersavcom slash mog mail. Um, I was meaning to read that first mog mail before we started talking about the Eden Quest, but I kind of got caught up in in the discussion Mm -hmm. uh anyways that's the end of the episode thank you guys for watching remember uh, to stay tuned for the post show because uh we will be um premiering Premiering. core um Mm -hmm. uh so stay tuned for that uh thanks for watching everyone uh follow us on twitter speakers.com twitch.tv slash speakers and youtube.com slash speakers exclamation discord in chat if you want to join our discord server if you're watching on demand link is in the description yeah see you on the post show if you're watching live Goodbye. Goodbye.